Hey friends, on today's adventure, we're gonna take you to the Greenbrier restaurant in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Recently went here and we had a great experience. I wanna share that with you, what food we got, what drinks we got, how everything was. And so, first of all, let's talk about how you get there. So this is actually tucked away on the opposite side of the main strip away from the aquarium and Anakista. So you go down this road and you're gonna turn on to Newman Road. And once you're on Newman Road, you will see they have a little sign to let you know you're headed the right way. And you're going to head up this little bit of a windy road. And we made it! And so it's tucked away up on a hill in the woods and you can see the hours here. Opens up four. You can do reservations over the phone or they have an online system. I'll put a link below. So as you come in, it's just, it's a very beautiful restaurant, very great, uh, rustic, just cabin-y out in the woods feel. You got a nice fire pit as you walk in. Very, very warm and cozy, relaxing place. Very romantic atmosphere, I would say. So as we walk up the pathway to go in the restaurant, we notice that it said a food and spirit outpost. And one thing you should know is the Greenbrier isn't just known for its amazing food, but also for its amazing drinks, as you will see here shortly. So as we walk in here, I wanna give you a little look at the atmosphere, the, the decor of the place. The staff was very friendly and it's just a very uh, well cared for restaurant. This was my favorite part, this nice fireplace with the deer and the gun and the Bible. Uh, very cool decor, I liked it a lot. I just wanna give you a little more look of the place. It's again, very nice place. You got a bunch of wine bottles all around you. You can come in here and sit and as you're waiting for your table. They also again have a, a whiskey society, a, a wine tastings and things on certain days of the week. So lots going on. You got a nice relaxing bar. You can come over here and wait. So we're heading over to our table. We had a really nice corner table with trees on both sides. It just gave a feel like you're in the forest. Yeah, I took a little video here. I'm just gonna let you get a look and feel of the restaurant, the different seating arrangements and what the tables are like. And it was our anniversary and they had a rose on our table, which was really nice. We started off with the drink menu, which was quite large, and the first thing we got was the passion fruit sparkler, which was basically a rose spumante with a little bit of passion fruit in it and these little passion fruit filled bubbles in the bottom. It was so good. Really, really good. And then I decided to be adventurous, so we decided to try out this Dylan, which they're very famous for, and so they bring it over on a uh, wine barrel plank. They have some pecans, or pecans, however you say it. <laughs> They're lit on fire, and so they basically asked me to, to blow those out, and they get a glass ready. So I blow it out, and then she puts the glass to trap in all the smoke, so it's gonna capture that uh, flavor, that flavor of the smoke. And again, normally I would just have a glass of wine on our anniversary, but this was, we saw someone else get it and we said, we gotta try this, so. And then, basically, they have a uh, cherry juice infused ice spheres that they put in. Um, these are from Filthy Cherry Juice. And then, they're, those are the Filthy Cherries. And then, so basically, it's a vanilla simple syrup with Bob Dylan's Heaven's Door whiskey or bourbon i've seen it listed as both so i don't know maybe if you know tell me in the comments is it whiskey or bourbon and what's the difference between whiskey and bourbon i think it has to do with whether it's from kentucky or not and then it was time to order some food and they have quite a variety of appetizers as well as main dishes they've got duck they've got seafood they've got chicken but really what they're known for is their steaks um, they have a variety of steaks that you can choose from and a variety of add-ons that you can choose as well. 
Uh, each meal comes with a salad and a side dish. And they give everybody this amazing spoon bread. Mm, I love the spoon bread. Amazing. Basically, it's like a cornbread, but more actually like a cornbread souffle. It ha it's baked with more uh, eggs. And then we decided to go with the baked spinach dip as an appetizer, which was delicious. Definitely try that out. Yeah, I like them both. They were both uh, just on point, delicious, lots of flavor. I, there really wasn't anything I didn't like here. Oh, your bubbles came up. Oh, yeah, they started at the bottom of the glass and about 10 minutes later they came up. And... Wedge, wedge salad was on point. I, I love a good wedge salad and they did it real well. And then this is You our... hated the steak, right? This was terrible. <laughs> Top five steaks in my life. This was amazing. Delicious filet with blue cheese on top and the mushroom risotto is what we tried. Yes, I don't don't hate on us if this isn't the way you'd cook your steak. This is the way we like it. What was it, a medium? It was medium plus, so medium right. wellish. It, it was amazing. It was delicious. Melt in your mouth, full of flavor. One of the best steaks I have ever had. My mouth's watering just thinking about it. <laughs> it, was, it was a very, very good steak. I enjoyed it. And then they brought us this dessert. It was our anniversary, so. It's a frozen chocolate souffle. It was delicious. And here is our uh, bill that we got. Really not too bad for a really nice meal, considering we had fancy drinks, an appetizer, dinner, and dessert. So that kind of wraps up our look at the Greenbrier. We greatly enjoyed it. We'll definitely be back. I mean, it, would you say it's the best steak in Gatlinburg? Absolutely. In fact, this is probably my new favorite restaurant. <laughs> I think uh, the other one that's much loved is the Peddler. So this one I think might be giving the Peddler a run. I, it's been a while since I've been to the Peddler, so I need to go back to the Peddler and do another closer comparison. But. Uh, I think you're Bree saying that it's one of her favorites. So anyways, we hope this video gave you a better look at what's at the Greenbrier, how to get there, uh, just a better feel for what it's like. So if you have any questions about the Greenbrier, drop them down below. Again, I'm going to put a link below to where you can do reservations online and uh, access their menus a little more in depth. You can always go back in the video and freeze it on the menu. So any questions that we can help you out with, drop them below. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you want more videos about Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge restaurants and attractions. We'll be doing a lot, lot more in the near future. Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day.